But we begin with a family in shock when a pregnant woman is killed in a hit and run this weekend. The 35 year old was crossing the street with her husband when she was hit by a car. That driver just kept going. It happened at the intersection of Fort Street and Superior Street in Southgate last night. Tonight, her family and friends went back to that intersection to look back on her life. Victor Williams was there. You can't help but have this uneasy feeling standing out here where this 35 year old woman was killed as the result of a hit and run driver hitting her. But you can tell by all of these stuffed animals, pictures, candles and more that this was a woman who was well loved by her community. I lost my child. I lost my wife. I really, really miss her. It was hard for Shane Johnson to make it through the interview, recalling the moments he saw his wife, Jessica Strother, being hit right before his very eyes as they were crossing the street. I tried to you know, reach, I couldn't get her in time, and she just, she got hit, she flew. Right now it's unclear what led to the accident taking place, but Shane says the driver of the vehicle didn't even try to stop. We hit her. He did, I didn't see brake lights. He just he acted like he was just driving normal still. Like he did just no brake lights. Just kept going. Jessica was six months pregnant with a little girl on the way. She now leaves behind a 17-year-old daughter. Amazing grace. Sunday night a vigil was held in the exact same place where Jessica was killed. Family, friends, and even her daughter's cheerleading squad was there to pay their respects. Jessica had just attended her daughter's cheering competition shortly before she was killed. It was unreal. I didn't think that it even like happened. I just couldn't believe that. I was just talking to her mom yesterday at the cheer competition, and it was just like blew my mind. In the meantime, Shane is trying to pick up the pieces with the void now left by his wife. I think about her all the time. I wish I could have done something, maybe talked a little longer before we walked. I don't know, go somewhere, took a different way. Just love the people you love. Don't hate, because you're there, then you're gone. It's in a blink of an eye. And once again, the driver of that vehicle that hit this woman is in custody, but we're still waiting on toxicology reports that can hopefully shed some light on what went wrong. Victor Williams, Local 4.